Welcome to OFAR. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble the Hemnes bed frame from IKEA. For this build, you need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a hammer, an extra person to help you with some of the steps, and a wrench and allen key that IKEA provides you with. You can also use a drill with the Phillips bit or a posi drive bit to speed up the building process. I would also recommend keeping all the bits in separate bags or containers so you don't mix anything up in the assembly process. So the first step is to get these four screws from bag one and also grab this piece of the headboard and put it in this orientation. Also grab the left leg, it should have the number two labeled on it. Now screw in the screws into these four holes. Try to keep the screws as straight as possible. Then grab four wooden dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now connect the left leg to the middle piece of wood as shown. Next, grab three fasteners and secure them into these three holes. Now grab this piece and make sure the indentation is facing down. Also grab two dowels and hammer them into these two holes. Then slide this top headboard piece along the groove as shown and connect the top piece to the leg. I found that lifting it up helps securing everything together. Now grab one fastener and secure it into this hole. Then grab the other leg and put it in this orientation. Also grab four screws and screw them into these four holes. Next, grab six wooden dowels and hammer them into these six holes. Now connect the leg to the structure as shown. Then grab one fastener and secure it into this hole. Only a quarter rotation though. It should look something like this only it's going to go deeper into the hole than what I showed on camera. Now grab three fasteners and secure them fully into these three holes. After you're done, you can now secure the top fastener fully as well. Next, grab this top piece of the headboard and six wooden dowels. The six wooden dowels will be hammered into these six holes. Now simply attach the top piece of wood like this. Then grab four of these screws and using the allen key, secure them into these four holes. Next, grab two metal rods and secure them by hand into these two holes. You can now put the headboard to the side. Then bring in the footboard and put it in this orientation. Also grab the last two metal rods from bag one and secure them by hand into these two holes. Now grab the left side piece of the bed and put it in this orientation. Make sure this big hole is facing outwards, and from bag 2, grab 3 wooden dowels and hammer them into these 3 holes. Next, connect the footboard and left side like this. Now grab this black plastic piece and one nut. First, put the plastic piece in like this and secure it with the nut. Use the wrench that IKEA provides you with so the nut is tightly secured.
Now grab the right side piece, and again, make sure the big hole is facing outwards. Then grab three dowels and hammer them into these three holes. The next step is to connect the right side piece to the footboard like this. And again, grab this black plastic piece, a nut, and a wrench. Secure everything together like you did on the left side. Now go to the ends of the side pieces and grab six dowels. Hammer the six dowels into these six holes. Next, bring in the headboard and put it in this orientation. You'll be attaching each side piece to the headboard like this. You may need another person to help you with this step. Then grab two black plastic pieces, two nuts, and a wrench. Secure the side pieces to the headboard. It's the same exact steps as you did before when you secured the side pieces to the footboard. Now this next step depends on how thick your mattress is. If your mattress is on the thicker side, then you'll be using the bottom holes. If your mattress is thinner, use the top. My mattress is about nine and a half inches, so I'm going to use the lowest level of holes. Then grab two support rails and 16 of the longest screws. Attach each rail to whatever level of holes makes sense to you. Each rail will need eight screws. It's going to look something like this. I would like to add that in this step and the next few, there may be some differences as the size of my bed is a full. I'll try to explain as best as I can for all the sizes. For this step, the only difference is that if you have a larger bed, the distance between the holes of the rail will be larger. So this next step should be the same for every bed size as you get two of these metal brackets and six screws that come in this separate bag. Then secure the bracket using three screws to the headboard and the footboard. Again, make sure you use the same level of holes as you did for your side rails. Next, grab four of these metal braces and eight small screws. Then start by grabbing one metal brace and two screws. Go to the top left quadrant and put the metal brace in this orientation. The adjustable end will be attached to the bracket of the headboard. For a full, the non-adjustable side of the metal brace will be attached to the second hole under the rail. If you have a larger bed, it would be the third hole. Basically, for this step, the metal brace will be attached by going under the rail and the bracket is shown. So secure the two screws into these two holes as shown. And now repeat the same steps for the top right quadrant. Again, the adjustable side of the metal brace is going under the bracket that is attached to the headboard. Then go to the bottom right quadrant and do the same thing. This time, the adjustable side of the metal brace will be attached under the footboard bracket. Then go to the bottom left quadrant and do the same thing for the last metal brace. Now grab four small screws. You'll be attaching one screw per metal brace. As you can see, there are six ovals in this metal brace. If you have a larger bed frame, the screw will be going into the third oval as the instructions illustrate. But if you have a full, I just decided to screw it into the fifth oval. 
I can't find any clear instructions on where it should be screwed in. So this is just my best guess. So basically just screw it in like this and do the same for the other three holes. Next, grab the middle support beam and hook both ends on as shown. The adjustable part of the beam will be hooked onto the footboard bracket. Then grab 8 plastic caps and 8 screws. The caps will be attached by the screws into these 8 spots. So to do this step, the screw will go underneath and the cap will go on top. Use the screw to secure the cap as shown. The end product should look something like this. Now grab one of the slatted bed bases and put it on as shown. Just make sure the straps on the slatted bed base are on the bottom. Then repeat the same step for the other bed base. You should now have a fully assembled Hemnes bed frame from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.